Hi guys, welcome back to Bumbling Panda. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this panda hoodie. Um, you can wear it for Halloween or if you're really awesome, you can wear it on a normal basis. So let's get started on the tutorial. As always, I'm going to use a tank top to cut out a tank top shape for the front and back pieces. I'm going to fold the front piece in half and make sure that the neckline of the front piece is slightly lower than that of the back piece. Then taking my black fleece, I'm going to cut out two sleeves for the hoodie and I'm going to use the curve of the tank top as a guideline for the armholes. And of course, cut out two sleeves, then fold them right sides together, and sew down one side seam. To cut out the hood, I'm going to be using a different hoodie to guide myself. If you remember my Totoro hoodie, that's the one I'm going to be using to kind of guide myself as I cut along the curve. Then I place my pieces right sides together and sew along that curve. Next I'm going to cut out ears um, to put on the hood of the panda hoodie. So here's how I cut out ears and I'm going to do two of them. Then I fold my pieces right sides together and sew along the curve, but I do leave a small opening so that I can flip it inside out. Next I'm going to cut out eye pieces for the face of the panda which is going to go on the hoodie. And I like to think of panda eyes as sort of potato shapes, so I kind of eyeballed this. So do your best, that's all I can say. Um, otherwise if you really want me to, I can sort of draw up a pattern. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm also going to cut out a nose shape, which I like to think of as an upside down heart. Next, I'm going to start assembling all the panda face shapes onto the hoodie. I'm going to do the eyes first and then the nose. So what I do is pin it onto the front of the hood and then I sew those pieces down. For the ears, I first have to flip it right side out through that opening that I left earlier, then I pin it onto the top of the hood and sew it down. To start assembling the rest of the hoodie, I'm going to place the front and back pieces right sides together and sew along the side seams and the shoulder seams. Next, I flip my sleeve right side out and place it inside the armhole so that the right sides are facing each other and I sew along the armhole seam. I do this for the other sleeve as well. Then I pin the hood onto the neckline and sew along the neckline seam. The last thing you'll need to do is finish off all the raw edges of the sleeves, the hem, and the hoodie, um, as well as the neckline. You can do this uh, many ways, but I'm going to make cuffs and bands for all of them. 
So first I'm going to make the cuff for the sleeve. I'm going to cut out two strips of the black fleece and sew along the width. Then I'm going to fold it widthwise in half, pin it to the inside of the sleeve so that the right sides are facing each other, and sew along the seam. I'm going to do something kind of similar for the hem, which is to cut out a band that fits uh, around my waist. I'm going to sew down the sides and then fold it in half, pin it right sides together to the bottom of the hoodie. When you're sewing the band to the hoodie, you might have to stretch the band a little since it's going to be slightly shorter than the actual width of the hoodie. I'm going to cut out one long black uh, strip of fleece, fold it in half, and sew down the width. Then I'm going to fold it in half widthwise and uh, pin it to the right side of the hoodie and sew along that seam. And that's it. I'm done. Here's what the panda hoodie looks like. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.